Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so tomorrow morning or later this evening if you're in the US, uh, we will be getting the next stage of Super Battle Road alongside the release of the Kale Celebration. And the next stage for Global is going to be stage 68, Miraculous Awakening. So Kale is on this category, so it does line up with the release of the Celebration. As you can see here, there are three fights as there basically always is in category Super Battle Road. The first one is just against a final form Freezer. Uh, the second fight is Cell and four Cell Juniors, so five enemies. And then the last fight is Jiren, Topo and Dispo. So three enemies in the final one. So in terms of Miraculous Comeback, it's not a very big category. There's not a ton of choices. Um, but as always with my team building guides, I'm going to go over my top picks and honorable mentions, as well as talking about some different builds you can use uh, for the leader. Because as you can see, there's only one actual leader that has Miraculous Awakening as their official leader skill. So there is, of course, ways you can build around this, uh, probably which will be more effective. Um, but yeah, obviously we will get into that as we go. So as always with the team building guides, top picks, honorable mentions. If there's any units I miss out or you think I should have talked more about, let me know down below in the comments section. And if you do find the guide helpful at all, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So starting off, we have Kale. I thought I'd mention her straight away, right? It's her celebration. If you do happen to pull Kale, her leader skill, Universe 6 or Transformation Boost will cover a lot of the characters that are on this category. And then obviously Universe Survival Saga or Full Power get the extra 30% for the full 200% leader skill. These Super Battle Road stages, even the newer ones that come out, it honestly feels like they were not designed to be tuned to 200% teams. So if you're running a 200% team, they are significantly easier so kale is definitely a good option now the only problem is when you look at her full passive and everything um, there are no califlers on miraculous awakening so you can run a universe survival saga ally to fill out this part of her passive but it means you're basically never going to see her transform right because even if she's on turn one the earliest you can transform is turn five if you get enough supers and usually a super battle road fight is over by then especially if you are running some of these newer more powerful units however in order to at least get most of her passive active you need a universe six ally and because she starts as berserk kale you obviously have this free to play Super Saiyan 2 Kale that has an easy A. Uh, she is a Universe Survival Saga support unit. Now, because you are missing a Khalifla, she does miss out on some of her stats, but she can be useful to be the Universe 6 ally for Kale as well as giving her support. And if for some, somehow you do manage to get the AGL Kale to transform, then they have the same name, but obviously it's fine because it's a transformation. So they will link up reasonably well. And then, of course, there's the tech free to play Super Saiyan 2 Kabe. He's the only one that's on the category as well um you know he's okay with his easy a um you know you're gonna have universe survival saga ally on the team you probably want to have many of them if this guy's gonna be as good so he's not gonna be super good for this setup but if you have another pure saiyan ally in the same turn which you know if you're running him it's probably because you're running kale right i wouldn't really recommend running him or um this kale otherwise right but he could be decent if you do decide to run the AGL Kale. Um, now, of course, Ultra Instinct Goku is the true uh, leader for the team. Miraculous Awakening or Reps of Universe 7, 3 key and attack and HP attack and defense 170. We all know UI Goku at this point, right? 70% chance to dodge. So if you get the good RNG, then obviously he just can absolutely clutch up and just get everything done for you. Um, easily take care of all of the enemies, dodge every single attack, and then, you know, you're looking good, right? However, if he doesn't dodge a super or doesn't dodge any attacks, especially type disadvantage, he can potentially take quite a lot of damage. But, you know, he's a good cornerstone unit to run. At least you can run any units on the category because they all fit under his leader skill. Now, in terms of some better options for the leader, um, if you do have physical God Goku, uh, there's another instance where he's going to come in super handy. He leads pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, which aside from the extreme units is basically all of the units on the category that you would probably want to run anyway, right? So they're going to fit all on his 170. A few of them will get his extra 30%. And then he is a very strong unit. You get the six orbs. He has guard. He can hold down slot one. He has the built-in dodge. Definitely can be very, very strong. 
Um, just an absolute go-to unit for this and probably one of the best leaders. Not much we really need to say. I'm sure you guys know all about God Goku at this point. Um, his active skill you can't use until the fifth turn. So again, like Kale, you're probably not very likely to see that. And if you do get to turn five, his active skill probably is going to be a finisher because it is a guaranteed crit and then gives him crits for the next couple of turns. Uh, and then, of course, if you don't have this guy because he's only been available once on both versions, which is obviously for Saiyan Day, uh, there is the LR God Goku with his Easy A. So he leads pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans for 4 key and 150. So you can cover all of those units. 4 key is good if you are bringing a bunch of LRs. He greatly raises defense on all of his supers. So obviously that's very good for defense. And then, of course, he has the built-in dodge and built-in crit chance, which lasts for as long as the Super Battle Road fight will go for, right? Because the high chance to crit and the high chance to dodge is uh, for 10 turns. So... There's no way you're going to be in a Super Battle Road fight at turn 11, right? You're probably dead at that point if you haven't won. So this guy definitely going to be very good. And of course, even if you do have the physical God Goku and you run him as a leader, this guy can still be really good on the team as a third slot float if you're running the physical Gokus in slot 1. Uh, next up, we have this Gohan. So he leads Kamehameha, which a lot of the uh, Goku and Gohan cards that are on this category will be on. With his Easy A, he leads it for 3 key and 180. So even if you did want to use AGL UI Goku, if you can fit a bunch of Kamehameha characters onto Gohan's team, they're getting the extra 10% to stats. Uh, he has guard as long as you're above the HP threshold. Um, he's building up defense with each of his super attacks. He does have a high chance to crit when there's an android enemy, which obviously there will be in the second fight with Cell and the Cell Juniors. Um, and then of course he can transform uh, with an android's ally or enemy starting from the fifth turn so yeah again another turn five active skill very unlikely to see that and then in the other two fights you're just not going to be able to see it at all anyway but gohan can be a good stand-in leader as well as being a very solid unit on the team um, he does get the 200% leader skill from uh, god goku and he's on full power so he gets the 200% leader skill from kale as well uh, next up we have the ultimate Gohan, so he leads superheroes or hybrid Saiyans, so there's plenty of characters that fit onto there for his uh, leader skill if you want to run him as a leader. Um, obviously Gohan is that unit, right, bit wonky, you have to kind of build the team around him, make sure he's got support, and then he can do very, very well. He can nullify Key Blast super attacks, which is incredibly useful. Um, if you have all superhero allies on the turn, you can use his active skill on turn 3, and even though it won't do a lot of damage, it has an action break. So in Super Battle Road, something like that can be incredibly useful because you can use it to cancel out and the only attack in slot one, which potentially could have been a super. Um, and then obviously you're then free to play out the rest of the turn. So Gohan definitely can be very useful on the team. He's on a bunch of other people's 200% uh, leader skills as well. So he's definitely a solid option and he can make a good stand in leader as well. Uh, next up we have the Broly. So Broly is movie bosses or full power. A lot of the units do fit under the full power leader skill. Although this guy is more here as a pick for the team rather than the leader. Although you can definitely make a team out of his leader skill. Obviously the reason for bringing him is his AoE attack. So he is able to attack all enemies. He gets a guaranteed additional super when facing two or more enemies. So the second and third fight, because remember the first one's only against Freezer, he will be able to get additionals. Uh, and just do at least two AoEs, right? So definitely can be very, very good at clearing out some of the enemies, especially if he's getting crits, then you get the hidden potential and he does like a third super. So definitely able to put in a lot of work. He transforms into full power on turn four. You can realistically get to turn four and that'll be the last turn of the fight pretty much. And then full power Broly will be able to clean up um, whoever is left. And remember, with units like Physical God Goku, you can still run one extreme unit on his team and still get the uh, intro buff for God Goku. And this guy does get the 200% leader skill from God Goku as well. So definitely one of the best team builds, I think, is Physical God Goku as the leader. And then this guy fits nicely on that team as well. So next up, we have another extreme unit. This is the only one, I think, that's a non- Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan character and that is the Int Cell. Now the reason why he can be good, he's going to struggle for links and stuff on this team but he's always been kind of a good Super Battle Road cheat card because of this thing right with his evolve condition. So when you are at 40% or less HP he transforms into Perfect Cell and gives you a full heal and this can often this can potentially be the difference between you losing a Super Battle Road fight or winning because you just you know even if you just have him as a third float 
unit on the team. He could come onto rotation at just the right time, transform, give you a full heal, and then you seal the deal. And there's no turn restriction. So if you beat, let's say, the second fight, but as you're in that final turn, somebody gets hit with a super in slot one, you drop to like 20% HP, you win the fight, you go into the next fight, sells on turn one, boom, transforms immediately, full heal. So very, very useful on the team. He just doesn't fit on a lot of the leader skills. Obviously, he's not on God Goku, as so I've already said. Um, is he on Transformation Boost? He is on Transformation Boost, so he would be on Kale's team. Um, he's on Full Power, so he would be on Broly's team. So he's on a couple of good teams, and obviously, if you're running just the AGL Goku, uh, UI Goku for the Miraculous Awakening lead, then he would be on there. So he can be pretty useful. Um, next up, we have the Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Definitely very strong unit. If you're on full HP, he's obviously doing a lot of damage and decent defense. He can see enemy super attacks if you have another full power ally in the same turn and you're at 59% or below HP. And a lot of the units we've talked about already are also full power characters. So that's definitely very useful. That scouter could definitely come in clutch at some point um, and potentially save the run if you can see where a super attack is. So he can be very solid, and of course he has a 30% chance to counter super attacks that come at him. And then, in terms of other Super Saiyan 4s on the Miraculous Awakening category, the only other one is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So you have the LR, or you have the TUR AGL one. Obviously the LR would be preferable, because he's an LR with an easy A. We got those skill orbs from the 8th anniversary battle event. So, I probably would only run him as a partner for full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But he definitely is a viable option. He also has a 30% chance to counter supers. He's good defensively after he attacks. And then the good thing about the LR Super Saiyan 4s is they have the active skill that you can use on turn 4. Which will essentially be a finisher for a Super Battle Road fight. But because it's an active skill and you get to use it before the turn technically starts. It means you don't have to worry about getting like super attacked in slot 1 in the final fight of like say you're in the second fight. You're on the final turn. Turn 4. He's got the enemy's got like four attacks in slot one. One of those could be a super. So even though you win and move on to the third fight, you've lost a ton of your HP. You just use Vegeta's active skill and kill them. So definitely can be very, very useful. Uh, and then last but not least, we have this Gohan. So he's one of the World Tournament units that got an easy A. He supports AGL tech and physical, which covers a lot of the units that we've mentioned so far already. Um, including units like the Broly, the God Goku, Ultimate Gohan, uh, AGL LR Gohan. Um, this guy's really, really good. You put him in slot 3, um, he gets a bunch of extra stats and just is a solid unit overall. I would definitely consider running this guy on the team as a support. He's on God Goku's 200% leader skill as well. And he's on full power, so he's on... Um... Actually, is he on transformation boost? He's not, is he? Because he starts off as Super Saiyan 2. So he isn't on Kale's one, unfortunately, but he is on God Goku's 200% leader skill. So I would say God Goku definitely is the best leader for this. So going back to Miraculous Awakening, again, it's not a huge category. Uh, Namek Goku could be interesting because the first fight is against Frieza, so he will get guaranteed crits. Uh, obviously, this Goku's not out on uh, Global yet, the full power Super Saiyan 4. Uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta could be okay, but obviously without items, he's not going to be super good at tanking attacks especially type disadvantage uh, str ui goku i should have mentioned him he's basically in the same boat as the agl right if you are running the agl goku and relying on the 70 percent chance to dodge then you can run the str ui goku with him and obviously makes a very good link partner uh, we have the two lr super saiyan 2 Go gohans but neither of them are particularly great nowadays um not really ones i would recommend to bring um the agl god goku's kind of eh Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, not really made for Super Battle Road, right? He needs to build up and potentially even transform to be really good. Um, this Goku actually is a pretty good support unit, one of the other World Tournament Awakenings. I forgot about him. Recent World Tournament EZA, he can be pretty solid. Um, everybody else, as I scroll down here, a bit outdated. I guess the SDR God Goku is decent, better than the AGL one. And... Um, STR Namek Goku can be okay, but again, he's one of those units. Needs a slightly longer event because he gets much better once he has transformed. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What team are you planning to run for this? Obviously, I'll be doing the no item run on the day it comes out. I might even do it on stream because I will be live to summon for Kale when her banner comes out. My early streams are always at the same time, 7 o'clock uh, in the morning UK, which will be half an hour before the banner and all the events release, wherever that is in your local time. I believe it's 11. 
11 p.m. PST and then like 2 a.m. EST, something like that. So I will be live to do all of the events that drop on the first day as well as summon for Kale. So hopefully I will see you guys at the stream. Um, and like I said at the beginning, let me know if there's any units you think I missed out or should have talked more about down below in the comment section. And let me know what team build you will be using for the Miraculous Awakening stage of Super Battle Road. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.